Welcome to the Twisted Tree Line. Minions have spawned. Team Fur Furry Fury and ASFU are playing up right now. Anthony speaks. <laughs> Anthony speaks for us. I love that name. We need to keep that up. Bro. Yeah, bro, just sit here. Yeah, sit, get hype. Yo, look at this. And on Morgana, Miki on Lux. This is actually turning out to be really good right now. See what's going on. Very impactful right now. It's focusing a lot on the Morgana, I noticed. It's showing other champ it's gonna hop around to the other champions or is it just focus on Morgana? Ah, that's why. Okay, so yeah, now it goes back to Sinfield J on on uh, Jinx and um, Guayamumu. Oh yeah, see that's why. Alright. Junglers don't seem to be wanting to gank too too much. It's good openings if anyone wants to go in. See what happens here. Woo! Ooh, that first blood going down on the Mumu. Well, that's what happens when the... Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jinx trying her best. I mean... Alright. Lux on... Not Lux. Fi holding down the fort. There we go, Fox. Oh, there we go. Kiwi's going in on Sinful J. Ooh, she got out just barely though. Game's only five minutes in and there's already a small breach in gold, but that's okay. Twisted Tree Line's too crazy anyways. I don't think people really know how to how to control things in this mode. Everyone's just hard pushing and stuff right now, it's fine. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Vi's going in. Ah, oh, Fox, come on. I believed in you, Fox. We had you had that all going through. Should wait for the. Ooh, there goes me. Miki's uh, ignite. She was just using it to repel. Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix is like the only person on here that's scaring me right now. I know what he's capable of. Don't know why he's not ganking more often. Speak of the devil, and the devil shall appear. There we go. Phoenix with his legendary gank that I just called out. Love Miki already 0 and 2. It's not very good for her. I think uh, the Vi's gonna start camping top more often. That's where they see her going more. Calling it. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, she popped the flash. Sinfo J. There we go. Fox going in. Oh, the ultimate from Kiwi. Ooh. Oh, and they both got out. Everyone got out. No one died this round, but that exchange left uh, Kane a little bit more stronger than he came out. That's not very good for the for Team Fury Furry. Furry Fury. Yeah. Sinfield J popping her flash, getting away from the cane. A little late on that E, but that's okay. Oh, does she have enough gold to ult? No, she has enough mana to ult. No, she does not. That's fine. Ooh, that Morgana bind, though. That was pretty good. I mean, E. Whoa, Morgana shield. Wow, I can't talk today. <laughs> Ooh. Bye, one more hit, one more hit on it. Can she do it? Nope. Uh, she got herself caught out. A movement with the ignite. Ooh, the 3v1 there going out. Oh, the trade one for one. Whew. Take pride in how swiftly we fall. Scary, don't <laughs> it's watching that. Jinx keeping her distance against the Amumu is pretty good. Uh, Kiwi's having himself a good old time going against Sinfil Jade right now. Popping it off. Ooh, look, this full combo didn't hurt Kiwi too, too much. Uh, there we go. Phoenix, uh, another one for one trade. Phoenix trying to make his great escape. Oh. Does Simul J have her enough for her ult? She does not again. Oh, so close. Oh, she's out. Oh, Morgana just missing her Q, but still getting the damage off the killer. Oh, and that was an ace. <clears throat> Team Fear. Furry Fury going down against ASFU. Ooh. Already seeing a uh, 3k gold gap in less than the first 9 minutes too. Ooh, this is not looking too good for them, for blue side. I think uh, blue side should uh, focus more on farming, try to keep a little bit more passive. The, the aggro strat that they're going isn't exactly working out too much. Kiwi blocking Vice Q with his Q. That was very good on him. You want to sit down and watch? I can tell you what's going on too. Hmm? Yes. All right, have fun. Ooh. You've got my 
If I going in again? Like I was saying earlier? Oop! Well, is she going down here? Yes, she is. Unfortunately. Hmm. Ooh, just making it out. It's hard playing in this game mode. No one knows how to play Twisted Tree Lines. It's alright though. <laughs> Another match has just gone taking place and uh, they're already showing the reviews for it and one of the guys is really mad that he lost. <laughs> you want to help spectate or commentate? No? It's getting there. He's looking at you like, damn. The pose? Oh, the face? Yeah. I gotta show this to my friend real quick, right? Hmm? Do what all good art thieves do. No, do what other good art thieves do and just, you know, wait, after he's done writing his name, just white it out. <laughs> It's uh, the mouth, but probably. Uh, it's probably what he's talking about. Here you go. You can you can see my senpai's art. What are you talking about? Ooh, Lux full combo on the cane. Does the instant burst. Ooh. Ooh, that Morgana burst and on the Lux. Shows that she she can burst just as hard. <laughs> If not a little harder, but ooh, Simple J's got to learn how to kite. She'd be taking this move on a little bit easier, but already being two levels down, I probably wouldn't play as aggressive as I would normally either. Mm, they're tied on CS, so that's good. It really just comes down to Mumu just being able to roam and get more kills. Their builds are completely crazy. I love it. But it looks like she's gonna start. She's starting for the Trinity Force, but it's too early to tell given her item builds. But she did have a whole jungle item complete. Kane already has his Bloodthirsters complete with going four and two. I don't know his Bloodthirster. His uh, Black Cleaver, so that's pretty good. Ooh, he's going down like that's pretty hard. Whoa. Oh, I thought I was just about to get out of there. Poor Fox, feel bad for him. <clears throat> Miki's burst on Lux is doing pretty well, so that's good. Be careful, it looks like a moon was trying to go in. Oh, calling it. Oh, oh that oh this that CC on her was just a little bit too much, and that's an ace and a tower. Yeah. Hmm? Oh yeah. Yeah, when you see people die, just scream in happiness. That's all you need to do, my friend. Yeah, word. Cast with me. While we're waiting for my game to start. Because then I won't be able to cast and I'll cry and I just I need someone. I'm all alone over here. It's like my marriage. You don't need to name anything, you just gotta be over and be like, Woo, look at blue team winning! <laughs> or, woo, look at red team going at! Yeah, you just gotta hype it up. Yeah, just act like you know what you're talking about. And all you gotta do... You know what, they, they can listen. I know, I'm sorry. We 
should get a regular lead caster. That I would that'd be nice. Maybe if I get good at this, I could become the norm the normal lead caster here. Oh, there we go, Mumu. Is he gonna got ult him? Ooh, that insta burst doesn't even need his ult to kill them. Ah, uh. oh, the Miki overstayed her welcome in that fight. Should have just kept back in through the towers. Ah, uh. yeah, this looks like the end of Fury Fury's run. Again, too, there's too much of a get lead gap. Ooh. Defensive now, so see what does uh, Team Fur Furry Fury have to do now? I think they're just gonna start turtling this. Hopefully, they can just you know start farming up again and see if they can at least keep their lead or keep uh, from getting any more down. on here. At least the good thing about Switch to Tree Lines is that since no one really plays it, no one really knows the the correct setups and formulas for this game mode. I think that's good. Oh, I just got word that after this game I'm going to be on stream next. Yay! You get to watch me get carried next game. I'm so happy for that. Sure you don't want to watch? Or sure you don't want to commentate? Uh, we're next? Yeah, they're getting they're getting kind of uh, hurt here. Yeah, my sister's uh, 0 and 6 right now. That's that's fine though. 59, uh, 99 CS. At least she's out farming. Most of the other people. That's uh, that's saying something. Third highest CS in the game, out of six people, but. <laughs> Going for the uh, spider team. I guess after getting this, it's gonna be game over because then they can just push pretty easily. This is the equivalent of Baron buff. It's very strong. I think this game mode needs a visual update. It's looking kind of outdated, if you ask me. We need more people playing with the tree lines. Professional Twisted Tree Line players gotta come in this now. Teach us all how to get better. Oh. Ooh, that, that combo between the Morgana and the Kane. Ooh, and drop with the Amumu ult. Oh, this is, oh. They're about to get aced again for their game. That's all she wrote, gentlemen. Team being down for another 27 seconds. They can just push for win. Just 
like my marriage, this game is over. What's up? Oh. Do you want to do this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm saying, are you going to do the next one, though? <laughs> I think you did pretty well. You were the cane, right? Yeah, you did really well. I saw how you were jumping in and comboing. Yeah. You had oh, you're two of the three of the deaths. Awesome. So the next guys are gonna start commentating. It's gonna be Phoenix, that was the cane, and the Amumu are gonna commentate next round. Yeah, explain that. Hmm? Come on. Yeah, I'm about to play. I gotta go. Look at you and your beautiful smile. I love that. You should explain your uh, cane mentality for that. Why'd you pick cane? Oh, you're not even. Can't even hear you. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna try that again? Am I on? Okay, yeah, you're on. Yeah, oh. I hear it. Oh. Okay. Shit. Uh, no. Hey. Uh, it was fun. We. Uh, my teammate uh, Kevin uh, wanted to pick Renekton and. On how do you get, and how do you get a moo moo from Renekton? You know, That's he was at zero. So it picked the champ, I guess, that he played last time, which was a move. <laughs> and we said, oh, damn, dudes, uh, I guess we might have to pick this. Can we see? And the other team was like, nah, you have to pick that. So we said, oh, okay. So then I pick I had Renekton. Uh, no, I had a, a Kane and a friend yeah. of mine before coming here. I don't play Trusted Twilight a lot. I don't uh, a lot no, I don't, do. no one really do. It's like, it's almost as bad as Dominion was. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people in Challenger in Twisted Twilight. <laughs> but That's true. It's because a lot of people play it. So you can climb up, but um, easy way to get challenger. Have a challenger boarder. Really like, yeah, is. I got challenger. <laughs> really is. You get the shirt, no the jacket. Yeah, it was a jacket, it was a jacket. and the, last year it was a backpack or something like that. It was weird. Yeah, whatever they give you. But uh, Kane is stupid because he goes through walls, and oh, it's just two lanes. So hey, let boom. me just run hey. up a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I went uh, red Kane because I had runes for red Kane. Yeah. And I figured they were gonna pick. I was first pick, and I saw Vi. That's a bruiser. Yeah, I thought they really were going to pick bruisers because in Trista Tree Line, bruisers are really good. And uh, ha ha ha, my surprise, a Lux and a j Jin, uh, Jinx. Jinx. So I was like, <laughs> okay. So do I want to do a little damage with my rune? Or do I just go blue and just s s mediocre? So I went red. Yeah, I red would still have been a better choice, even because the Vi is the only one. Yeah. You got so, more CC, more damage, tankier. Mumu could was, survive a lot more. Mumu did. Kevin, who was on a Mumu, did his job, didn't die, stunned the person, and as soon as I came in, murdered them. Uh, Morgana was beating Lux solo, so that was fine. And then yeah, it's came easy matchups I saw. Yeah. yeah. The only times I died was going in the bush. <laughs> I saw. Looking, I saw you going crazy. Dumb. Yeah. And then bot lane when we just said, just black shield me, and I went in. I can't do anything. And then the last fight at the end, she said, "You just said, hey, Black Shield, me go in, winner yeah. tower dove." Yeah, it wasn't dope. You know what? Vi got hit by a stun, and at that point, it's like we were thinking, "Oh, we can't finish it right now, even with the buff, and we weren't gonna dive." And then she got hit by the stun. I'm like, "Oh, okay, let's just go in." And then we, yeah, basically death. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Anyways, is it, are they setting up right now? I think Ryan go in? is setting up. Probably no, I think there's still a game going on. All right, because after that game ends, I gotta dump it into the it. Who do you think is gonna? You think I'm, we're gonna win? Uh, you guys got a good team. It's me, so. category, and uh, yeah, hit top. It, yeah, yeah. No, you pretty, guys have a good team. Pretty good players, I think. For some reason, I don't like my mouse that I'm playing on right now. That's what I was saying too. It's like is this the mouse board or something. Like, hey, we were we're uh, which like side this side I liked better than others. <laughs> I agree. So we might we might just ask, hey, can we just start switching mouses around? Give it to the bronze players; they'll never know. <laughs> no, nah, that's fine. No, I'm sorry. And I'm not sure if you saw the playful BMs at the beginning. No, we didn't. Where we actually Lux didn't said have nice grab, and my Rene uh, a Mumu player who wanted to pick Renekton said, uh, "You should have let me pick Renekton." <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> you would definitely have seen worse. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad, but it was funny. Like, he really wanted to pick, he wanted to pick Renekton because, you know, it's a good champ. Oh, apparently oh. I'm playing, so. You're playing? Be right back. See you soon. Is this round two or is this up for me too? Because. 
Hey, camera. How do I look? Do I look cute? They're all saying that they're uh, a little bit of a bit of a confusion on the bracket right now, seeing who's playing who right now. See what's going on with that. <laughs> Which teams? Okay, good. I'm not. I'm not up just just yet. <laughs> so welcome to the cast. Oh, I actually, I'm playing now. Awesome. So I will see you guys in a bit. Wish me luck.
Okay, I'm up again. Hey guys, it's Phoenix Blast. Uh, Anthony, my real name. Apparently my name is, what is it again? Our Anthony team name? Anthony Speaks for Us. Anthony Speaks for Us. Wasn't my idea. But my fr good friend Ryan did it because my two other teammates usually don't talk a lot. And apparently I talk a lot. So now I'm talking now. End this game. It is f Team Fog versus Team... Is that, what is the team, other team? I cannot tell, it's F-L-Y-Y. N-A-I? So let's see the teams. Aatrox, Nautilusk, Morgana. Oof, that's a good lineup. Versa Graves, Sona, Garen. Ooh, that's also a good lineup. Hmm. I like the Aatrox team line team a bit more, cause Black Shield on fucking Aatro on Aatrox is really good, really really good. On Nautilus too. I mean, he just gets so tanky. There's no one really that sustained burst damage. Ooh, they're going for a gank. Nautilus hits probably death. Yep, probably death. Now, people, if you think you can live in a, that type of an environment, don't. Always use your flash. That's how you, you'll you actually win more games. If you flash right away, you'll have to play a little bit more passive, but you'll at least not give first blood or a kill. Always flash when you have the opportunity to live. So let's see here. Matchups. Nautilus versus Graves. Eh, it's gonna, probably going to be a farm fest up top. Uh, Aatrox jungle. Okay. He's not amazing as he was before since the past couple of nerfs with that format of Aatrox. But he still does a lot of damage. And this is this is Summoner's Rift, Aatrox jungle. I'm talking about. Twisted Tree Line's a little different. The minions don't hurt nearly as hard. Uh, so it's probably going to be decent. Garen top. Very probably just gonna push out all day, every day with spin. Garen is probably one of the better solo laners in this format. Lux and Sona, that's another probably gonna be farming, farming, farming. AP Lux, ac AP Sona actually hurts a lot. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Look up AP Sona, AD carry bot, and she can actually carry her a game by herself. Now this matchup, Graves totally loses. Graves right now does no damage. No damage. The have oh man, do not go in there. <laughs> Graves does no damage. He's one of the least picked junglers right now in League. In Summoner's Rift. But, ooh, did they overstep their bounds? They did. Oh, Garen's going to come and clean up. Oof. He tried to go ham to get that Graves. Because... His passive lets him heal, but Sona was there too, and he was helpful. And my lovely teammates brought me some water, so thank you. <laughs> Oof, this is, this is close. Team Choke the Fly. Oh, that's their name. That makes sense. Choke the Fly. Okay. Choke, Smack, or Flex, the Deviants, and Fly Guy. Okay, so he just combined... <laughs> Combining them made it so much. Combining all three of the players <laughs> just made it so much. <laughs> So right now, both teams both have shrines. They're both pretty even. Okay. Team Fog was actually ranked one in this tournament, so it's pretty good. Team Choke the Fly is doing decent. Not gonna lie. Farm-wise, farm-wise, both Every teammate is doing decently. Sona is getting beat by Morgana, but Morgana's gonna probably beat a Sona at farm. She just has the toolkit to do that. Uh, Garen's crushing Nautilus in farm. And Graves now has the same amount of farm as the Patrons. Mind you, Graves' late game can be really good. The same thing with Aatrox. As soon as he gets that level 6 and tries to get a kill, oh. You can't kill him. Just so much sustain and heal. Graves gets decent burst later, but 
Nalus right now hurts a truck. Ooh. Some sh nah, just some footsies. No one's going no one's committing too hard again like last time. Oof, this Nalus has to be careful. Garen's already level five. And he's playing with fire. Garen has a bit of an advantage top, because at one point Nalus is gonna lose the sustain in mana, and he'll have to come back. But oop. Ooh. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was dumb. I would not have gone in there. Oh! Unless the Garen doesn't hit the right target. I would have definitely hit Nihilus there. He could have gotten the kill, but, the, you know, Ignite was on him. He had the run. But he got the Ig Flash off Garen. That's important. Because as soon as he got six, I would have tried to go into another lane, flashed on top of someone with the Q, the stun. Si well, silence. And just murder him. Silence is such a broken concept in this game still. There's only a few champions that do it. And Garen is one of them. Okay. Farm-wise. Jungle matchup. And... Oh! Oh, and there it is. Like I said, Garen got his six. As soon as he got that, you have to be careful. No matter what champ you are, it just makes him so much deadlier. Especially if you're the villain. And there's only three champs, so... One of them is going to take true damage at one point. Okay, Aatrox just got a six. Graves is still five. Graves is still five. Sona's at six. Now, team fight. We're talking about matchups, solo lanes. Team fight. Nalus has a really good team fighting ability for initiation. Garen has. Oh, excuse me. Sneeze. Garen has the very good. Execute. Sona's ability for team fight and sustain is amazing. Though. Her ult is probably going to be a game changer. If the Morgana can get a good black shield off, though, that's minute. And you probably won't have fun. Ooh, that was not a good miss. Oh, the Aatrox is missing every ability he has. Oh, but there's the ult from, H from the Morgana and Aatrox. Oh! Oh, this is a matchup. They have to run. Nautilus has nothing. I would definitely run. Oof! Yeah, this is it. Solo wipe. Morgana's probably going to make it out of there for Scott Free, but that's... You can't fight that when one person's level 5. You have three people level 6 against two people with level 6 and one level 5. You can't fight that. I would have... No, oh, that wasn't a good fight. As soon as you missed the pick, I should have backed off and let Nautilus get this ability. Nalus is super behind right now. He's basically just a meat tank. Sonas. Like I said, he's going AP. That does ridiculous amounts of damage if you get ahead. And they're ahead. They're up like 2k. They're gonna have to get really back in there to get in this game. Nalus is not a good champ. Great champ at behind. Still gets the stuns and everything. That's, that's still good. Aatrox... He needs kills. His ult makes it so he lives if he gets kills. If you do not kill someone in a team fight, you're, <laughs> you're just gonna die. It's not old Aatrox anymore. No, the new Aatrox is very good. But it's not old Aatrox. Yeah, Garen has no... no... challenge with uh, this Nautilus. He's not scared. Nautilus is so behind. He's two levels behind. Garen went, he might, he's either going to go Triforce, which is actually really good. Triforce Garen is legit. Like, here it is. You can't, you can't even catch up to him. He has a, a natural escape. Oof. Oh. Sona had all, ooh, this Gar Graves might be screwed, though. Yep. Got caught out. Got caught out. Okay, that was a good pick. That probably that got him back into the game a bit. Let's see the builds. Okay, Graves went down. Not bad. Let's go in the average jungler build for Graves. Want that damage, Warrior. Aatrox hasn't built his jungle item yet. You really don't need it in this format. He's trying to go for Dust Blade, I believe. Morgana's probably going Echo, which is a good ability. Good item. Nalisk. It's going ice ball. 
which makes him tankier and all that, but if I was doing this, I'd probably go AP, H AP Nautilus. I think you still got tank, and you just do a truckload of damage. Go Protein Belt. It's a janky build, but it's doable. You'd be surprised. You're not going support, so you might as well just build on some damage. Oh man, that's I would have gone in there on the Morgana at that point. Oh, 100%. This Garrett's going to be an issue. Ah oh, man, Aatrox. Ooh, once the Garen doesn't do anything to stop this. No. And then you can't kill him. And then Garen just a tank. Oh, he's going Black Cleaver. I would have liked going Triforce. It's a lot of damage. You know what? I don't know why they would go in here. They have no kill potential. Unless... Oh, why didn't the guy not ult him? Ult him, Garen! Ult! Ult the guy! Garen, you... Garen, if you... Oof. Now, now Aatrox gets that kill. Oh. Guys, if you see the villain icon on your opponent, always ult the villain. It's true damage. Had he ulted Aatrox, he would definitely have died. Ooh. That's a misplay. Ooh. I don't know what Magana's doing. He's just... Should be back in lane farming. Oof. Right, right. Garen should have ulted the villain way early. He would have won that fight. He got he got scared. Garen players always remember the ult the villain. It's true damage. It's not magical at that point. It's true. You will kill your opponent. That would have been a one fight, and probably Nalus also died. That was a misplay by the Garen player, who's been playing pretty decently the whole game. Other than that one point. Let's see. I don't know why. I, Merc Treads is fine. There's a lot of stuns, so you want to get out of them as quick as possible. But it's a lot of... No, it's only 180 damage. Aatrox. He's... He went Ghost Blade. Okay. He wants some movement speed. He's really good for that. It's a lot of damage. Ooh, first tower is probably going to be Garen. Yep. Ace is going to do a lot more damage to this Nautilus because not care. Oh. No. Aatrox went top to try to stop that push, but I don't know what Graves is doing here. Ooh. This is probably a kill. Morgana with Sona with his ult. He's going to get sold by the guy here. He keeps ult in the Nautilus. Nautilus is not your issue. It's definitely the eight shocks or Morgana. I just get out of there, Garen. You already won your matchup. That's it. Just get out of there. Oh, Whitey showed himself. Get Graves should have just bead back. You have a B button, guys. Ooh, he escapes. Okay. The Nautilus for Sona. What's the... Uh, probably be more gold for the opposing team, Team Fog. Not worth. Sona is level 9 to the Nautilus 8. It's not, this game's close, though. It's back even. The other team, Team Choke the Fly, had a great advantage. And they kind of used it up. A 2k advantage. Could have snowballed that. Game's still close, still tower ahead for Choke the Fly, they're still in a decent position. Late game I still consider Garen, like damage wise, probably Garen, Graves, and Sona could out damage the other opponents. The way Nalus is building, he's not going to be doing truckloads of damage with the CCs there. Morgana's, Morgana's pretty good right now, she is decently farmed. She has Echo, which is just going to give her a lot of damage. And Aatrox, he's he's getting up there. He's level 11. He's a raid boss right now. Ooh. Okay, Graves. Garen knows what he's doing here. Oh. Again, another time you have to ult the Morgana. He, she had villain. That would have been way worth it. Oh. 
But taking the tower for free is always a plus. Taking the tower for free is a plus. Okay, Dark Harvest stack for Morgana because of her freaking heat. This is a close match. Choke the flag. This is a close match. Govinda, the store owner of this wonderful place. Ch choke the fly. They lost an advantage. They should have been ulting the right people with Garen. Oof. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. More farming. Both teams pretty even. Most of the goals on the Garen and on one side, and most of the goals on the other for Atrox. Both pretty fed right now. Garen's going tank, which is not bad. That's his kit. But if you want to carry at times, going a bit of damage isn't terrible on Garen. Damage Garen isn't bad. Aatrox is keeping up on his levels, though. Choke the Fly is evenly 10. While Aatrox is just out leveling. Every. Oop. Ah, Sona. She, she panic ulted when all you had to do. Oh, there's Garen ulting the right target for once. Good job. He's probably died with Ignite. Yep. No. The Garen ulted the right person. Oof. They kept pushing when they shouldn't have. This is not good. Oh. No, the thing is, Garen hasn't ulted the right target at times when he had the villain. Hmm? A lot. Now, Morgana was a good target because Aatrox wasn't there, but at that time, probably should have ulted Aatrox. Oof, two shrines for Team Fog. That is good. Okay, Team Fog for the first time in the game. It's got a gold lead on Team Choke the Fly. CC on the other side for Team Fog and the damage, which is ridiculous for Aatrox if he gets ahead. It's basically all ability based, it's not auto attacks, like the old Aatrox was. And it's just AoE. AoE damage. That is not great for you if you're in a team with just three people and you fight the guy with the black shield on. Okay. Sona went Chalice. Alright. I probably would have gone Lich Bane. That's a great build for Sona if you want to do some damage and sustain. <laughs> Again, you'd be surprised how much... Um, there's, there's a few Sonas that play Lich Bane damage. It's decent. Ooh, this guy is probably dead. Yeah. I don't know why he's fighting this. He has to escape. Oh. Yep. Now let's try to get the kill steal. Yeah. I don't know if Aatrox had the ults. Man, there's Sona just wasting her ult. Her ult and flash. Not good for Team Choke the Fly. They're making panic decisions right now. Look at that. Sona's doing. Re Look at that damage for Sona. She went eight P. Oh, why are they keep going? Of course she's gonna be in the bush, my friend. Oh, this is probably a tower for Team Fog. This is probably a tower. Oh, good dodge by the Graves. Okay. Nautilus. Okay, Team Spock is going back to the base. Almost 3k richer than Team Choke the Fog. Let's see the builds. Oh, Aatrox is a late boss right now. There's no one who can fight him. Oh, yep, right there. 
There's no one gonna fight him. Oh, Garen. Killing Aatrox now at one point would probably be the best thing for the other team. You get so much gold levels. And I don't think it's gonna be hard for him to come back. Aatrox is so ahead. Like I said before, when he's ahead, it's a raid boss. You can't kill him. He does so much stain and so much damage. Okay, Team Choke the Fly is going back to their zone to get their shrine. So now it's two on one for one, not two on two. It's another thing, the other team had the shrine for a very, very long time. Oof, I do not know how Choke the Fly is going to come back. This deficit, guys, is 3k now. The damage they have on the other side is there now. Like I said, Graves is pretty weak. He's Probably the least picked jungler. Right, please buff Graves back. <laughs> Sona's probably one of the better supports, but it's Morgana is doing work. She's doing damage. She's giving her teammate black shield. And look at that. Just blew her up. That's the thing with Sona. Just blow her up. She has so much sustain. What do you do to get rid of her? You blow her up. Okay, Garrett, you should hold. That one. Ah, it's a lost fight. Oh, uh, well, you gotta kill at least Consolation. But it's Nihilus, so. But he got the villain damage, that's why I even got to kill him. But Nihilus is very tempted. Okay, Morgana's pushing tower bot. Probably gonna get both towers. One bot, one top. That's another thing, guys. Morgana pushes crazy. Her E makes it so anything dies quicker if it's lower health. So all you have to do is just get a decent amount of AP damage and she does nukes waves. Look at Aatrox. Crushing it. Top tower. It's probably going to go for this Sona. Yep. Dead. Ooh. There's nothing you can do at that point. This game's probably lost at this, at this manner. The other team has to come back together and have an amazing team fight. Just come back in this game. Aatrox is highest level. Thir three levels higher than anyone on the team. Levels are important. Levels are very important. Oh, there's a Garen trying to go man mode on this Aatrox. So he is on the far side of the brush. Look at this. Morgana just gives him black shield and Aatrox just heals all that damage that he was giving. And now he's just going for the graves. And now he has his buff. Now even if you kill him. Which they will not. They will not be killing this Aatrox. Yeah, Aatrox is too far ahead at this point. Garen, who was having an amazing game at the beginning, like it looked really good for him. But he had some mistakes with his ultimate. Killing the wrong target. Sona gave away too many deaths. And Graves. I just, you're going Black Cleaver, that's a decent build. I think he's trying to go Shivs or something. Maybe Fan Dancer. It's not going to help him at this point. Morgana's probably unkillable as well at this point. He's going to get Zonia's when he goes back. I think that's what he's building. I don't know why he got needlessly a large rod. He wanted to get Zonius at first, and now he just wanted to build damage. I'm not guessing right now, is But that's it. another tower down. They're right next to the Mega uh, uh, inhibitors. Uh, so let's see. It. Yeah. But no, this game, it's 7k. At this point, next team has to go. They have to play amazing just to come back at this point. Amazingly to come back at this point. Malice is sizing up the enemy team, seeing where they're at. I gotta tell you, matchup wise, eh, it's pretty 50 50. Could have been even.
Black Shield's not the same old, like, end all be all. You could have had a good, some good Sona ults. Like that. That's a decent Sona ult. Didn't stop the one, dude. Oof. Yeah, they're too far behind. At this point, you have no damage. Their team has almost no damage unless they're ahead. Graves does nothing. Like I said at the beginning of the stream. If you get ahead, he's great. But you can't because he has no early, good early game. Oh. Looks like Choke Fly. Surrender. Which makes sense. At this point, they weren't coming back. 18 to 8. Oh, yes. I know you go play. oh, apparently I'm going to go play, guys. So good luck to me.
Welcome to the Twisted Tree Line. Minions have spawned.
All right, guys, we're here live back again here at Encore Esports. We are here with the 3v3s. Yeah, man. Oh, man, brought, <laughs> brought you by Super League and Esports. And we got Team ASFU against Rig Brackets. And I know my good old team, Rig Brackets, with Taker yeah. over there with the Vigar. We got ourselves Diaz Myrtle with the uh, Hecarim. We also got he Wraith. <laughs> Is he that rap. how you pronounce it? He rap? He rap? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure either, but we know he's on that vein. Yeah. And then we got Kiwi over here with the Alawi. I knew Alawi was going to be picked here. That's, that's not a surprise at all. We got Phoenix Blast on the cane, and we got 18 with the brand. We got Phoenix Blast picking up the altar there. Yeah, we got a very interesting matchup here. What do you mean? This looks one-sided, even though it's been three minutes. It's two to zero. <laughs> it's two to zero. It's not that bad. Yet, by the way. They have not lost yet. Okay. Well, Very interesting, well, interesting Rick Brackett should have lost the first game against us, but you know, I'm not gonna say nothing. People, <laughs> people like to pick Aatrox on a 3v3 map like it's like it ain't special or anything, but it's whatever. Yeah. Aatrox has been dominating. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey. Today. Yeah, he's been in almost every single. Oh, thank you so much. Aatrox has been in almost uh -oh. every single. Got a little. Oh. oh, we got Phoenix Blast going in with the cane. Uh, to use his flash to get away. Yeah. Nice thing done. I see. I see how like this game can get, but it looks like once it hits around ten minutes, that's when Hecarim is just gonna start going all in. What do you think? That may be true. Um, both yeah, sides do have a late game potential. Yeah. You can see with Kane. Uh, but I think Vayne has one of the biggest late game potential. Of course, especially with Vigar. Vigar. With Vigar. With Vigar. Of course, yeah. But uh, with Kane on their side, Kane with the healing, that healing factor that he got. Yeah, once it depends. he transforms. Exactly, but it also depends on his um, his ganking. Uh, that's what I'm not. Saying. Yeah, I just I just got in, so I'm not sure what kind of ganks that Kane, that Kane has made. But well, you know, it started in five minutes, so we're gonna see what Phoenix Blast can do in terms of ganking, how his ganking potential is. Be a very easy lane. Oh, I'm not fit in my head. <laughs> of course, because you got a big yeah. afro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're good now. All right. Okay, we're here. Okay. Oh, All we right. got a nice Black stun from Taker. Stun. He's going on Kiwi, but Kiwi's not afraid to engage back on him. Yo, Alawi just heals that help right back up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh what a vein. There okay. you go. We got ourselves oh, a nice gank. We got Phoenix Blast going in. He's going to go in for the kill. Yeah, oh, then we got DS yes, with the counter save. gank on Phoenix Blast. He is showing no fear. And then we got ourselves a standstill. That was not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. DS Martel has definitely saved Vayne's life. Yeah, <laughs> Vayne was going to be dead instantaneously. Yeah, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure about that. Maybe it was a misclick, but. <laughs> it could have been a misclick. On who? On DS Martel? Yeah. <laughs> what Save rank is he? Silver 2? <laughs> uh, we got this dude playing over there. DS on. It looks oh. like. A oh! Excuse Whoa, me, DS! <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, Kane! <laughs> you went the wrong way. Uh, I gotta give it to DS. He got he's very quick. He is. Very, very it's quick. He's cornered though. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah. No mercy. Alawi. That's what that's what we expect from Kiwi. Not afraid to put in the pressure and go in. Uh, Taker yeah. is about to stay on top of Kiwi, making sure he doesn't go near him, but he will not get that altar. There was no way. But he's farming, he's farming yeah. pretty well. Oh, he's farming extremely well. Oh, yeah, he's, he's he's actually pretty ahead. But uh, Alawi's gonna try and put a okay. stop to him Vayne right with there. The with the I see Vayne on top of him. Okay. I think I think it's gonna just take one good push on that wall, and Vayne just got brand. Just just yeah. Slap a good E. A good E also, but that's all. That's, you, you're, that's you're, hard to land. You're, that's hard to land on you're, near, you're, near you're, a terrain. Yeah, true. <laughs> Experience talking here. Uh, we got Kane over here moving around the jungle, going around near Vigar, but he's going in around Vayne. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're, exactly what we were talking about. Mm. A little tumble action. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a little tumble action to keep the thing going. Alawi's ready to go in. Oh, Vigar's. Uh oh, they're gonna go Vayne. imp on DS. DS is already in trouble. Got All Kane right, going in. Yeah, he's out. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> ran away. Oh, like a home run. Yeah, 
very it, steady game. Yeah, very, very passive. <laughs> I think once the first real actual team fight um, really goes on the play, then, you know, all the action's gonna start popping up. I'm not gonna lie, though, for two silver, t so, uh, two silver two division yeah. members, they're doing very good. <laughs> I wish they did very good in our game. In though. our games, right? That's <laughs> crazy. I'm, I don't... Uh, but we got to get into that one. We got ourselves a spicy non-gank. <laughs> but that was a nice trip. We wanted to go say hi to Brand. It seems that Brand is, is doing his is doing his best to pace, but not pacing enough against Vayne. And Vayne showing Vayne showing very good skill. Uh, Taker coming in late with that <laughs> event horizon. Yeah, he tends to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Kiwi showing no mercy. Is Diaz going to go in? Diaz is not going to go in. But we got Kane over here ready. It would have been a nice It's, it's, it's going to be a nice little slap and tickle bait. We got, we got Phoenix Blast. Still trying to figure out where he's going to go. He's going to actually take it in. But Daryl... It's not okay. gonna care. <laughs> he actually, wow, he got him. Wow, oh, wow, oh, it's it? you. <laughs> With the flash kill. Is that Martel? Was that, was that worth it was though? That was that DS Martel? Was that DS Martel with the flash kill under tower? No, somebody gotta be playing for him, man. He is smurfing. <laughs> it has to be category five. It can't be anybody <laughs> else. <laughs> no way. Oh, my, oh man! I gotta give it to Taker. He has really good mechanical skills. Yeah, he's playing pretty safe. More safer than I play with them. Yeah, <laughs> low. But we're not gonna get into low, that today, low, man. Low, low, low. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, here we go again. Event Horizon. They're just using each other's ease. Oh, 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 uh oh. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, what are you doing? Are you tower diving? Is he tower diving? Was oh, it worth it? Was no. it really worth it, DS? Did you really tower that, dive? That's that thing we hate to see happen, man. <laughs> that's that thing that you normally see. Okay. Oh. We got ourselves okay. someone against the wall. I was me. just going to go. And came. Oh, that's the nice. mechanics. Bane with the kill on Kane. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. What is God's green earth is going on here? Tower dives from Hecarim, 1v1, Literally one, a tower dive. 1 HP kills against Kane. It oh is, it, this is a madhouse. Kane performs excellent on this map, I just realized. Extremely well. Extremely He's, well. Golden War. Golden what I've seen to notice, Kane, Aatrox, Alawi works really well on this map. Aatrox, man. This Q range is so huge. <laughs> His range trying is to, Trying to dodge it is just... <laughs> the hardest thing in the world. Especially, especially on a narrow map like this. Listen, listen, Fly Nye, I gotta give it to you. T Taker is not afraid to get oh, this wait. tower. Oh, okay. And he's willing and he's to gone. sacrifice his life for it. Oh, he's oh man, I wish we he got, went back around. We got the army. We got the army, but it's too late. Anything. They will not capitalize on Taker. But DS does DS not care whatsoever. He's going in from the is delay. It the suicide? Going Wait, he is he going at the 1v3? Oh, oh, they all going in. What is going in, on? And it's over. And it's all over. And they got the double kill. And that is DS taking it with the ace. Unbelievable. I'm speechless. I am hor horrified that Taker actually came back for that. Hey. They need to How nerf dare the, he? <laughs> they need to, be, to nerf the hell out of Hecarim. They what, need what to nerf the hell out of Hecarim. Look this at this man. suicided and came back out. Not dead. Unbelievable. I will, humble my, I will humble myself. But if he tower dives one more time, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> I will not be afraid to talk with trash. Oh, I'm, man. Hecarim I'm, looks I'm, like Hecarim's going in around the altar. I'm over here looking at the mini map when I should be focusing on what's going on right now. Oh, he stunned Hex. That was a nice. Uh, game. yo, I mean, he stunned Kane. We got. Look at that. Bane putting in that work. There we go. Bane is, Bane is playing. Uh, Bane does not care. Bane's gonna leave that. She has barriers. Actually. That's right. Yeah, she has barriers. Is she running barrier? I think 
think so. Yeah, she's running barrier. Bane's running barrier. Okay, very safe. Press the attack. Not bad. Very spicy. I don't usually use press the attack with Bane. Like, well, I, how, I, how do you use your runner? Uh, what is the other room called again? Sheesh. Um, the, uh, fleet footwork? No, not fleet. Lethal tempo? Yes, lethal tempo. L really? Okay. Lethal yep. tempo on it. Oh, we got ourselves a first from Taker. Oh, Taker's going in on brand. And then we got a Vayne going in to get oh, one more time. Nice He's e going e into the nice wall. E into the wall. Can't old south Kane unless ain't coming though. out of that when DS picks up he the kill. Escape. Unbelievable. Yo, we're going to need an unbelievable counter. Because I've said unbelievable like 10 uh, times already. Are we that is ridiculous. Are we going to get to play again or are we done? I think we are done. Yeah, we lost done. two games in, yeah, a in a row. We're done, right? Huh? Oh, so we are going to play again. Oh, we're going to play them again? No, we're just going to play Yeah, so we're going to oh. be in the loser bracket. Oh, okay. Makes we're going to be in the loser bracket and try to get get back to the to beat the winning team. Makes sense. Oh, we're oh my god, we better. So, so we have to. So we got to We 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 we're, gonna we're have taking to go out in. the squad. We're going to have to go all we're in. We're taking out the squad. I'll take out the squad. I think All I know is I know who's going to be out of here. <laughs> Aatrox. <laughs> yep. Aatrox is gone. Oh, it's time to go. Oh, oh. man. Oh, Looks well. like the food is here, so we're gonna let yeah, this. We're gonna have to take a little uh, intermission and let you guys enjoy the game as it is. We'll be back. We'll be back shortly. This fly night choke here brought to you live from Encore Esports.
<laughs> Alright, so how much games we play? Like three, right? We're doing good so far, we're doing good so far, you know? Uh, it was the second match probably was easy. Like, it was so easy yeah. that I felt bad about it. Right? Yo, after the game was done, I was like, oh, I felt really bad. I feel like it was a good victory to me. Now, I was telling my team, like, yo, like, let's relax and stop ending the game. <laughs> like, the game of my yeah. chance. Honestly, I, had a, I, I, yeah, I felt bad. I, you want to end the game, but, like, I want the team to end the game, but, like, it was, it was, it was well, uh, honestly, it was fun. I'm um, looking forward to the next game. See how, see how that goes. Our oh, third game was kind of difficult though with the, the Laoi. For me, I was like, uh, the Laoi was just... See, that's, what, that's, that's exactly why I picked Hetero. Just because like, my E for the stun are not back, whatever. And then my ult, in, just in case she still gets her ult off, I can fear with my ult. That's exactly why I picked Hetero, just for her. Right, like I just it, it, it worked out. Right? I could have, I could also play Kane. Wait, no, the MET play Kane, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, never mind. I, I was saying that I could also play Kane, but like, um, I don't. Know, the next game is gonna be our toughest game because it's basically one of the strongest teams. Right? Oh. Uh, diamond player, whatever. But. Well, my plan for that game to ban out the diamond player, so you had the other team gonna switch. Not it, that's that's the thing, cause like. Uh, he has so much experience with other champions because he, like, that's what Joe's team did. He banned on the entire diamond player and he still got slapped. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I should have thought about this. I played against a um, high yellow before. Mm -hmm. You ban you ban out the team. I found um, me trying to let the diamond player play the one trick for You play against him. So yeah, you should have picked this pack and I play against him. That's, that's, the thing. that's the next thing too because like, even though, because I've played champion before and where my main champ and then I'll, I'll completely stop or they stop me but if they, even if they stop me I end up coming back in the late game so that's why I, I don't know it's, I, honestly I don't want Ken at all even if I can't counter I don't want Ken at all because she's so sick sometimes I don't want her at all um, I, can't, I think we came back what we came back now is Cat and uh, Aatrox like I don't want Cat and Aatrox if I, if I feel like uh I don't want to. I don't want to fight against Aatrox at all. Aatrox get out. Okay. I'm telling you, Cat could be left. Yeah, you sure? Just want to keep the cat. All right. If, if you, you gonna pick Cat, we gonna play against Cat. I can play Cat. Yorick. I can play Mazahar. Hmm. Yeah, I have so much options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can never pick Mazahar. Let me pick Cat. I don't want Aatrox. Aatrox is the problem. I can't have. I can't. I can't do Aatrox. That old. You can't have that. So Super League Gaming is this company that basically gives opportunity to anyone that play games to play like a pro. That's like their slogan, play like a pro. Um, they get um, all these players together, you qualify to be on the team, you get this cool jersey and all that. You can, and then you participate in like small tournaments they have just like this. And many more all across, all across any different states you have. Well, some of them are, well, you have New York and New York Fury, you got Chicago Forest. You got um, Dallas Dynamites, Tampa Bay. I forgot what the name for Tampa Bay. And then, yeah, the, one of the places we have these events at, as you can see, Encore Gaming, our Encore Esports. And I love, honestly, these are one of the, the best um, they call gaming lounge I've been to. Compared to, like, I, can't, I don't really want to say anybody's name, but uh, this is actually one of the best I've been to. And I actually love the space, love the energy. And I've uh, made some good people here. Honestly, like, all the vibes, the cool games, you can play on the desktops, you have different systems, like, PS4, Xbox One, you know, Nintendo, Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, which is surprisingly the old system that they have in here. Every system you can think of, they have That's actually a fact. Like, in, in the like, last time I played on Nintendo 64 was like a couple years ago. Oh, exactly. I, didn't, I didn't know this would make games work. <laughs> But like I'm just looking forward to what Super League brings because right now they have League of Legends, they have Minecraft, um, they're doing something with Overwatch, 
was more so more more like show me your best plays, you let's win prizes type of type of stuff in Overwatch. And then, huh? No, that's obviously All right, now we're doing Spring Leaf Fest, and it's going great. The, um, everyone's having a lot of fun, and I'm sure they are very glad to see the next one. Um, probably something summer. Probably something summer. Um, same, basically the same thing, 1v1, but I definitely want to have a 2v2. So we're definitely going to have a 2v2. And it's honestly going to go super great. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And then the prizes, the prizes are beautiful. Like um, For the 1v1s right now, the prizes are $20, uh, 20 RP for first, 10 for second, $5 for third. For the 3v3s, it's going to be $10 for first, $5 for second, and... Uh, mystery, mystery icon for third place, and we can all thank Super League for all the prizing. And on, when we get more people, more people sh show up, more people compete, mm -hmm. uh, the prizes will definitely go up. Um, include the RP is gonna go up, and then also it's gonna include more um, figurines. Uh, there's a couple figurines, um, T-shirts. Um, we have stickers, which I should have given out already. We got some stickers. Yeah. We have um, my promo code you can use when you're trying to sign up for an event to get that ten dollars off. <laughs> Look at that sexy. Wait, wait. Yeah. why they playing? Isn't that Aram? That's Aram, right? Hold on. That's weird. Um, spectator delay. Wait, which match are we spectating? Um, this is the the other two teams that have winning records. So it's Anthony's, the one you just played, and then the other team that hasn't lost yet. Oh, okay. So this oh. is Fog and Anthony's team. No, okay. I thought it was them because yeah. I thought it was Aram. So like, I got scared. Ooh, that's not a... <laughs> All right. All right, we got a one minute to go. There's only three teams left that can win. You guys and these two. All right, all right. The others are pretty much eliminated already. Oh. All right, so we got we got um, the teams that are coming up. We got a diamond player, uh, a gold, and I think another gold or silver, probably probably plat. Um, he mains cat, the one that is diamond main cat. Um, he has a well, his Smurf is diamond, and his main account is grandmaster. Yeah. So he's just like the one to watch out for. Plays mm -hmm. cat. Um, he did great with eight trucks in his last game. Mm -hmm. And I honestly don't know anything else <laughs> except him. Yeah, for now. It's <laughs> and then um what's happening next the next team uh I think a plat player and two goal players. Wow. They 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 um they they, they did okay. Uh, we just had a better team count, we were able to counter them and we did well. Oh yeah, let's go into game like four hundred. <laughs> We've got the game time. Oh, well. Let's go. All right, it's, oh. All right, so we have uh, Morgana, Jax, Renekton. I don't like it because, like, Jax, and Mor Jax and Renekton can go in. They have the Black Shield for the for the Morgana. On the side, we have the Zed, Annie, Trogat. Okay. Uh, mm. Zed, Trogat, and Annie. That's kind of tough to play against. They're CC. Z the thing is, Zed can be easily countered by the whole team on the um, yeah, side. You're right. But with that any and Cho'Gath, and Cho'Gath's able to like get ahead. True. And gets his Welcome stacks the in. They, um, Blue team definitely have a, well, I should say ASFU. We definitely have a chance of doing something. See, now you know the way these guys started off by going to the bushes, which is a smart strategy to see if the enemy comes Minions in and try to invade. Spawned. Most of the teams we have faced earlier didn't do this, so I'm actually happy seeing this happen. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I, I well, think so. Uh, I used to. What do you call it? I actually didn't use it. I just know because they usually they come through and peep. They didn't peep. Alright, but for, for the lane against Morgana and Choga, the, the thing about Morgana and Choga is. Basically, like dodging skill shots. Yeah. If Choga can dodge the black shield as much as he can, then he honestly 
should be fine. Wait, no. Choka is jungle. So it's oh. Zed against um, Dragon's uh, Mara. Okay. Alright, starting off. Good matchup, Zed and Mara. So Mara has to drop her um, a W, which is a gun like that. Zed is definitely really aggressive. He's, he's, he's definitely pushing up. But his Morgana zones him out a lot. He is. Oh, that money. <laughs> wow. Morgana with the pool trying to stop him from going back. Okay, cool. I like it. I swear I banned the last time because I, I know it's me a problem. I know how many, I don't know how bad I know how many. Gunner's range and zone. Hey, look at this. Even if you ban, you know, honestly, you tell us to give care. Let's give the care. Because, like, he has so much other options. Let's just give him the care. Alright, Zed has been aggressive. Um, not sure the right, right play. He needs, he needs those minions. He needs dead minions to hold back his minions so he has a better chance of dodging. Still is able to use a shadow though. Oh, oh. Um, here's the invade coming from Jax. Playing aggressive, I like it. But gets, but gets seen by the Zed. Choga's on his way. One more gunner with Q. Um, protecting. Wait, here you go. Yeah, now we have a 3 and 3. Jax still goes in. He knows he had the black shield though, he can't see. He tries to move, but and he gets fast, but Renekton goes oh. in. And he probably no, and, and he does not go down to the Id Knight. See that that fight right there is that was confusing, but see if my if the Jags have prioritized the person that came after the, the Aatrox, I'm not sure what I got to I'll kill him. That's right. I guess Annie spin her main. Her name is Annie Licious. So maybe, we'll see, yeah. maybe we got we got Frog and do what he can. Kiwi. Well, if Red just starts building um, MR, he might actually do. Oh, definitely. If he goes, he goes straight up tank. All right. Morgana trying her best to poke as much as she can. Morgana is doing a good job. She doesn't want to use her Q. Not sure why. Oh, Rene okay, he be going in on Annihilatius, but Jax comes and help out and Annie goes down, but, but he also goes down. I pronounce that, uh, Shush 18? Huh? Shush 18? Switch 18? Switch 18? I just got Morgana. <laughs> Alright, Morgana, um, well, Swiss 18, yeah, finally land 18. her binding on this. This jumpy little frog. But you know it's not enough. She gotta do a lot more than that. So oh, there go again, set and hitting everything that you did not frog. Giving her problems. Frog, frog, frog wants you. Yeah, frog is hungry. Hmm? Frog wants to hop on that. <laughs> Alright, we got Kiwi coming in for the um, extra help. I maybe they're switching lanes or he just got it now. That'd be kind of smart to switch lanes. Oh, boy. Can he switch too? That's great. Alright, they're kind of switching, but I think now they're going back. Um, and Annie Licious is going by lane. Alright. The, the, the guy is like, I'll, I'll fight the Renekton. Alright, Kiwi, can you handle <laughs> this frog though? Alright. We're about to find out. Um, so far, Zed is... 40 CS up on boat laners. And, it is, and again, I think it does. This is a better matchup for the that. Oh, Jax again with the invade. I'm not sure why Phoenix Blast is doing all of this. this is extra. He's able to jump away and probably will survive from that. Oh no, electrical procs. What? Not sure how, but uh, Kiwi is trying his best to get away. He does get away. Um, Jax needs to calm down. He's evading way too much. He's getting punished for it. Definitely feed his bass. You know, um, take a triple. Yeah, you got, you're going to behind this guy's gun for that. It's a big punish. Mm. You got, we got Annie with, Annie with the hard CC. And we have Choga with the CC and, and the signs. And we got Zed able to get your, um, very quickly if you have the jungler that needs help. Um, 
if Morgana keeps doing the way she's doing now, then the CS from the W, she could be strongly here. Bolinus is still behind him, he is. Morgana, is that? Oh, wait, Zed calls in for the fight, gets stunned into the tower. Ooh. That mark won't be this enough. Is, and this is why Renekton against Zed is actually smart against so Zed does his little um, ult, and then he stuns him on the tower and he's done. Oh, here comes the team. That was really a bad game. Alright, the team, this was a bad idea for the fight that yeah. they should have came up sooner. They came way too late. Zed was already so far away. There's nothing they could have done. And here we go again. He's using his... At, Phoenix Blast is using his stun way too early. Yeah. I understand if you got to use it to stun someone, but... I guess the guy should just wait till when he starts auto So it can be more effective. Mm -hmm. See, now this is... This is, this is when... Uh, any, any other team is going to play against. Okay. All right, is he? Ooh, and it's not. Oh, he got the camp emoji. Oh, Tom though. Finish back. So go away. And he Ooh, goes in again. All right. For that. Okay. Nope. No, Zed's ult is not up, so I guess they can actually pressure this. Mm -hmm. Um, but Phoenix Blast is gonna back off. Eighteens over here. You know, checking to see where's the jungle. And he's CSing little by little. I guess Annie should be able to take take down the jack very easily. Honestly, I, I feel like the blue team have a little bit of see, more CC than the enemy team. I mean the red team. Oh, 18 did not land her that bind in. Um, she really needed that to give some more extra poke on this Annie Licious. Oh, go forward. Did was I guess. I guess 18 could not predict that <laughs> she was hit by the stun of everything. It was not, it was not able to dodge um, black with her black shield. Oh, Alright, since they're walking down. Shushka, this is probably 18 uh, last. Why did she? Why did she? Yeah. She um, I don't know. She was just no, standing there for a bit. I don't know. I guess she disconnected. But now Zed's ult is done. Renekton can probably do something. Alright, uh, man. definitely gonna bounce that when we hit the face game instead of this song back right now. I'd rather have a captain of Zed. Because Zed now is regaining health like it's nothing. So Zed and Aatrox? Yep. Alright, then Aatrox has a different bat next round. Jax again! Oh. Alright, Phoenix Blast. What's your plan, Phoenix Blast? Tell me. I don't know. Finish Blast is bad. We got Kiwi getting hit by everything from this frog. Jack's gonna be in it again. Get about to get punished. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, it's a. Uh, oh, God. Did I use back shield? And he's going forward. Finish Blast going forward. Is he doing. I think he's doing some work. Putting in some work. But here comes the Zed. Oh, Renekton is so far behind. Oh, but here comes no, Dies for it. Oh, no, no, go for the Zed. Why are you going for the Annie? The tower is right there. And he just changes his mind. That was a really he bad fight both teams. Um, yeah. Oh, and he's coming back in with the ult. Renekton trying his best. Oh, but oh, the ult now comes back. So questionable both teams here. low. Flash is going in, but nothing's happening. It's, it's really a bad fight on, on both teams. Because that's really a bad fight. I guess they can try again later. Zed, uh, Frog Zones is actually up right now. Well, here he goes in. And, ooh, this changes his mind. Last minute did not land the stun. Did it nothing over? Kiwi, Frog is back in. Kiwi's back in. Okay. Oh, we're about to see the first tower. We got Swish 18 taking the first tower. Probably won't be able to diminish her without pushing forward. True, true. Probably, probably we have to diminish. Probably just to go like no one runs the minute. Alright, we got Renekton and um, no, we got Itachi coming in for a gang. Guess landed with a bind in by 18. Jax looking for something, looking for an opening. He wants to get down on dirty. Yep. I heard that Jax is playing on a little tower. Is that a smurf? Jax? Yeah, this should be the main account. 
I said that's how you play this to the, cha um, to the champs. Oh, Jax is. My girl tried to throw her, her um, two out, but uh. Oh, that's that net. Yes. Wait, Jax is trying to go do his best yes. going. Yes. And they probably will get this. Oh, oh and. Ooh, these bats get deleted by this Annie. Morgana oh. is also going to go down. It's not looking so good. Should not looking so good. Right. They never tower dive on Annie. That's the worst thing to ever do. Tower Are they going to capture this um, Gekia? I actually forgot his name. It's not looking so good. Um, Red team is definitely dominated. They're up by 2k goal. Annie's low just, <laughs> just, just chilling. But well, she's backing now. Honestly, that, that, um, the the blue team has more pressure than on the enemy, the enemy uh, team. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, we got Frog going in, but I guess that's probably a little scared of QB at this moment. Um, he, okay, that's fine. Alright. See if he's heading by then. <laughs> Alright, they switch lanes again. Not smart right there, because the Morgana was going to do double lane again. Okay, wait, oh, ooh. Ooh. Um, okay, 18. I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess it could happen. I apologize. Alright, I need just gearing up to use. They, they need to swap back. But both of them are. They need to be another Mr. Magana. Oh. We have attack, one that's always trying to invade. That's the only kill of the team. And they didn't switch back, I'm not sure. I think. It would have been a better matchup any against the Morgana. Jack would be the super aggressive. Like he has to fix his fights very carefully. Cause he if he does get a hit, he should be able to do so much. But he has to be care very careful of what he does. Well from now on. Cause they still have a chance. Uh, let's switch back. All we're gonna have to do is remove the farm and don't find the dead. And let the Morgana push the bot lane with the tower. I wanna see Kiwi fight Frog. I wanna see if he knows if he can actually beat him. Alright, here it goes in. Jax is coming in. They can he own oh, it? No, he cannot. Short. We got Choka just walking in like it's nothing. Right? We got Andy right, coming from the not. back. Uh, oh, Jax is just here by himself. Uh, and he probably will go down. Oh, oh no, he jumped and survived. The black sheet, I guess, saved him. You got I Ooh, wait, yeah, yeah, um uh, 18 is definitely going down. Uh, Zed and super low. Zed and Tash is super low. They could have gotten a two for one. And then ah wait. Uh, oh, oh she just overstayed. You should have not walked there. There's well, we not much well, we don't we ban it, Annie, eight shots and Zed. Oh shoot! Right, we got a bet. Oh, the. I guess, I guess any, yeah, any Ajax and then <laughs> get out of here. Itachi, I can, I can deal with Itachi. Itachi wants more Gana. Itachi is gonna play more Gana 100%. Who? Itachi, he's gonna play more Gana. That's his main channel. More Gana, bro. Oh. He's bad at CS himself. One to eight. We have you want, you want frog. The, the eight trucks and uh, Kane and uh, Azir again. Oh, oh. I, I, I probably have, yeah, probably have to go Kane. We really have to because I'm definitely gonna pick last to see if I need to go Ramas or Kane. Okay. I want to play Silas, but I don't think it's gonna be a good fit. Yeah. So let's get back to the game here. <laughs> the eight trucks and the Eight, 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 eight. No. As a 3K goal lead. Zed, okay. All right. Jax. Actually landed the stun And All they right. got the Zed. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Finally, he was able to take down the Zed. I guess very good communication by by Kiwi and Phoenix. 
Ooh, what big. is this damage from Annie? Oh man. It's like yeah, wait, can he get it? Yes. Probably can right. he does get it. But he will lose his life for it. Oh, he is safe. And he stuns no one. Oh. He goes down. Given his yeah. given the stack over to Choga, which he does not want to do. The all my guy has to do here is keep the wave, get it in the tower, and make that now my guy wasted her W. But nah, if she has a, a full CDR for 45%, she can take the W down again. Yeah, she has it up again. Alright, here we go with. Oh, that tower is gone. That's a choke. Yeah, that, that tower is 100% gone. We got, we got the beer, and we also have. Yeah, we have the beer. Yeah, we got the beer, and we also have. Wait, I need trying to take a lot of this. Alter? Is that? Yeah, they go for it. They go for the enemy. Morgana? Oh, oh Morgana is just. Like 18 just is not landing though. She needs those bindings to do it. She has one one up. Oh, Renekin cannot handle. Morgana just was 18. I don't know what 18 is doing. He's just been back and forth, back and forth. This is a tough one. Joe! Here we go. The big matchup. Um, I think definitely Red Side can really just. Go. I think Red Side just playing around right now. Frog, Frog is just playing around right now. They could definitely like do so much more to end this game very quickly. Um, but I guess now they're, they're starting to realize this and start pushing more. Will I be able to take them down now? Oh. Oh, have the, the, the boots. Here we go, Zed. Ready? Oh, oof, 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 oof. The one thing I have noticed the um, ASFU team, they're not using their um, their wards in the bushes. Those things, uh, the oh, yeah. I just call them my walls. The C9, all C9. He was able to survive that fight, but <laughs> oh, here we go. Is this gonna end this the, is the end of the game, or is it gonna be the surrender? And Jax is oof. I'm not sure what this Jax is doing. Oh, here we go. They're pushing. They're pushing. Um, they're pushing. They're pushing. pushing. They can definitely put some work in right now. Jax is walking back and forth. Minus Blast, what are you doing? Are you trolling, bro? Minus Blast is trolling. Alright, here we go. We got Kiwi going in. Oh! We got, we got Phoenix Blast in the back line. Oh, the Annie, it's not enough. The Annie's just cleaning up. And he's keeping all the guys from her. From here the, we go. 18, down. I guess you're oh. also going down today. Goodbye. Oh, the Hourglass. But boop, knock up oh. dead. And goes down to Annie once again. Annie just destroys. Annie is a big problem. Annie and the Zed, if they had taken care of those two champions, they would have been Up to Analicious, I would understand bad Annie. That's, that's, <laughs> come on. I know, they did. I guess I, I kind of, just kind of played two this in this game. Yeah. You could have just chilled out and like won the late game. Oh, that's GG. He was, he was doing more trying to invade than ganking, and it's just not working out for him. Yeah, the Jax is getting caught out. Morgana missing all her cues. The switch things you have done. That nah, was bad. That was a good game.
What does that sound? It's the League music. Is that really the League music? Yes. I didn't know League music existed. Man, dude. If you guys can see our faces. Yes. Oh, dude. If you can see our face, my face right now, it's so disgusting. Yeah, right you know it's mad hype. <laughs> uh, I'm so disgusted. Yeah, I'm right definitely now. taker. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, uh, it was actually mad funny. Um, you know the the KDA songs that they were doing? Yes. The, the one song. Yeah, yeah. They have that on Beat Saber. It was mad hype. That's cool. That song's actually not bad. No, it's a good song. It's a good song. Yeah. I think they're doing another song. I heard. Rumors it's going to be a boy band version. Now. Yo, your shirt looks mad cool. I do like this shirt. Like, this cool shirt's badass. It's a fucking wolf. Coyote? Wolf. Coyotes are like have. mangy looking. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, right. but I mean, if you're making a shirt, you're not going to make it look bad. Yeah. Alright, word, 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 word. So we're here at Encore Esports, 538 Main Street, Nourish Shell. This is where we're at doing this League 3v3 today. Let's see if uh, let's see if they actually ban smart things. Look, look. Last game, you guys let somebody named Annie Licious play Annie. I honestly didn't look at Annie. the name. His name is Annie Licious. I didn't look at his name. And then Who he picks smacked Annie in freaking Trista Tree Line. <laughs> uh, well, Technically, it didn't smack. It was. It was. It was a matchup where, honestly, I don't play Trista Tree Line at all. Like, this is probably um, the first time I played it. In Years. I can see Annie being given twisted because she's okay. She I literally just sense. deletes somebody. You literally yeah. delete. If you walk up to an Annie and she gets the first hit, she deletes you. So this is our League of Legends three v three. We're some gonna do this next crap, month too. I gotta tell you, some of that crap where she autoed me from God knows where to kill me one time was ridiculously stupid. <laughs> but right. no, yeah. well, let's talk about this next for a time. second. So this is a uh, Super League's uh, League of Legends three v three. Hosted yep. at Encore Esports. We've been doing 1v1s until this month. This month is the first time that we've done 3v3s, and it's definitely. We did more. Oh, yeah, you did two Way, way better. Before. Way uh, better. We love 3v3. Imagine playing with teammates in a team game. Is it, You didn't like the 1v1s? No. Get out of here. I did. I won that last one. Yeah, that's because. I was happy about that. You don't. You I did well. Anymore. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, no, you did really well. I'm not I saying. I mean, I won. Did. Yeah, you did well, but. It's just not fun. Like, I literally lost to Miki uh, the first month. This is straight John's, by the way. But I lost to Miki the first month because I got bored and then tried to initiate when I was winning in farm by like 15. I could have just lamed it out. Other things coming up. Hey, we got Road to Defend the North. This is all of our tournaments coming up this the, the month of June. This is like, if you haven't heard of Defend the North, it's a uh, uh, it's Capcom Pro Tour event in Manhattan this year. Last year it was in White Plains and. The years before that was in White Plains. But this year... New location? Yeah. New location. Prime location. This is in New York. This is right next to MSG. It's a oh, wow. beautiful hotel. And we already have over 400 people registered. Um, last year, we had about 1,000 people total. I think this year will break 2,000. Oh, um, can it fit? It? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Venue's yeah, huge. I'm, not, I'm definitely, I think, yeah. if it's New York. Yep. So attraction. Where, where we're at right now is the events we have coming up this month. Every time we have a winner for a game, that person gets free entry to defend the North, which is saving 60 bucks. And you get a hotel room to stay in for the three nights. That is yeah. a bonus. Yep. So you get to go to an actual FGC major and not have to pay a dime on entry or hotel. And that's June 1st, we got Street Fighter and Tekken 7. June 8th, we have Undernight in Birth, also known as Unio. Um, I'm not accustomed to that one, actually. Eunice is a... Uh, Eunice is a... Uh, it's an anime fighter. It's a It's a bit... Oh, is that that new one that really actually just came it's out It's not recently? new. It's just very... It's a very niche game. People... It, it has a good fan base, but it's not a lot of people. That makes sense. Um, and Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat is... Mortal Kombat's been killing it in sales. It's been selling... It, 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 I just saw this on, on IGN. It's, um, it's probably considered the best Mortal Kombat in it recent is, times. It is... It's the last game to do this in a really long time. It is the top-selling game of this month across all platforms. Wow. PS4, it Xbox, is on Switch and Switch. And everything. Yep. Yeah. And then, oh, they were just saying, like, uh, right now, actually, Combo Broker is going on. It's a big MK tournament. Well, it's a big FGC tournament in general, but MK, this is the first, like, 
FGC major that has MK as the big tournament, oh. and they are they're killing it. They're they they're even saying that like it's like a it's almost mandatory for people to come like bring a switch, just because if you're traveling and you get to like just lab wherever you are, just play it on the switch. Oh no, yeah, you easy. play you play on the switch. The the controls aren't so different that it's like like Smash. Playing on a handheld switch isn't going to get you much practice, but for Mortal Kombat, you can practice everything you can. Ooh. Let's name the other last three tournaments before this event. No, Ryan? Yeah. yeah. Ryan, last three tournaments. We didn't get to bring it up. Yeah, we were, we're still going to do it. Yeah. So um, we're going to do last call off the last three tournaments yeah. before the one yeah. minute when this yeah. last final right. round starts. All right. So Rain. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Well, I'm going to go back. That's actually the wrong order. Yeah. No, so you, had, you almost had it. June 22nd, <laughs> DBZ. This is uh, our next fighters tournament. Um, just like I said, free hotel room and entrance for this. Then Smash Melee. That's on June 29th. And last but not least, Smash Ultimate on June 30th. We actually have a Smash Ultimate before tournament that. tomorrow. That is. Uh, you are? Yep. Absolutely. As our monthly, but the one on the screen is next month's monthly. Oof. So, so all right, let's, let's if go you back come, to this If you wait usually time, come, you win that monthly. Yep. Look at that. You made it. Free, like, $300. All okay, right, so we have 40 we're. seconds. Let's see. It's Team Ghost Flash over Ghost. Versus Rig the Brackets because it's DS and, and Heat. Rig the Brackets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of the guys is uh, yeah. one of Super League's finest. Yep. All right. Let's see where we're at. I don't even know what they picked yet. I believe they've picked. We're on the. Th we're just waiting behind. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Two minutes. I see a twitch, or I can't see a twitch because it's invisible. <laughs> There's a twitch. Oof. Interesting. Really? Twitch can be Twitch scary. jungle. I mean, twitch jungle. You just show up out of nowhere and you murder him. That works. Not twitch jungle. Okay. So I just mean, twitch just lane and then you go to some other lane. Yeah, murder. Just roam. Basically the same concept. I mean, I'm surprised. Did anyone play Shaco this whole tournament? No. Shaco's Actually, you know what? No. That's true. Sh someone could have gone Shaco really Shaco's easy. Shaco's really good in Twisted Tree Line. We did see the Hecarim. Hecarim was one of the characters we were talking about. That Hecarim's that too good. Hey, there we go. I'm the one who played Kane into Hecarim, and that's basically AIDS for Kane. Nah, Hecarim's really good AIDS. in this. I could see Jarvan being really good no, in this. No, Jarvan's matchup-wise, I... So it's Zed, Nunu, Thresh. This side has a lot of CC and damage versus... Oh my god, Azir? Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, I'm calling it now. Azir's team. Don't I love it at all. Not at all. Azir, he's no. only good at level 13. And at yeah. that point, he's a champion. Before then, when Twisted Tree Line, you want early game champs. I a mean, bit late and mid, but like... I mean, Nunu Thrush isn't a really big early game team either. No, like, but this, they're the, just the, defending the Zed who's the, just going to yeah. try to kill everyone. The, the, the Zed is like the crux of... Damage. Yeah, if, if the Zed doesn't come online, I can see them making it late enough into the game that Azir turns on. Yeah. I mean, I like J4. J4 is cool. Twitch gets ran over by everyone on that team. Yeah. Everyone. It's so your team. I, I really oh, here's probably for... Oh! <laughs> freaking spotted. Spotted. Oh. oh, no. That's a flash. Now you see here. Now he's dead. This is the concept people have to learn. When you... No, you're gonna get hit by a stun or something like that. Flash you have ahead. to flash. Yeah, it's not even that. It's like you can play passive at that point. And he's the jungler. He doesn't care about his flash. And he's J4. You already have him all in. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. He yeah, definitely, all yeah, in. yeah. He definitely needed to like. The he second he saw the flash. hook and he knew the hook was in the direction of him, he just flash, 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 just out of there. Oh. Now, and who got the gold for that? Nunu. That's not the best person to get it. Yeah. But. Okay, now kill this, I do not like this bot lane. <laughs> I oh, would have switched Twi this. Twitch is gonna get shredded at level three. Yeah, level three. All you have to do is get on top of him and Twitch. At level six, you're dead. Yep. I don't like these matchups. I, I like Team Fog's way better. Yeah. Team Fog is what. Mind you, the guy who's playing the Twitch is an 80 carry uh, player, so I'd pick like I can see why you would pick Lucian that. or like a better Lucian, early game chance Lucian, that could beat Varys. Yeah. Not Varus. Uh, Varus gets Varys? eaten too. You think so? Yeah, because he's, he's a he's a he's he's like uh, immobile. He's immobile. He's a tower champ, like a tower AD carry. He doesn't move. He can kite a bit, but he doesn't try to move. I could see Trist being good in that too. Trist can escape. You... Yeah, Trist can escape, and you can ult him out. You Trist can would have been a way like, better champ. You can also like um, 
The good thing about Tristan, the giant. Oh, here we go. Jarvan nah. coming in. Nah, nothing. This is just poke. Zed's Zed's super good in this because you can just escape. Like, yeah. I think something cool about Trist, if if they wanted to play a Trist in this, is the if you fight in the jungle and you ult somebody as Trist, you're literally ulting them over a wall. Oh no, yeah. But can you? Is that over the wall? Oh yeah. Is that over the wall? Mm -hmm. I've never seen them. This. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this lane, Azir. It has a free lane. I mean, I don't know why they would put Azir versus uh, Thresh. I, I can understand in this concept, it, it's the same thing with Zed versus Twitch. At one point, the Twitch is just going to get eaten. Yeah. But Azir's not going to eat Thresh. He's going to get farm and levels, yeah. but he's never going to kill him. Unless the Thresh really gets up in that guy's face. I don't know. I also think with, like, in general, the lanes being a bit shorter... Jarvan loses a lot of his, like... Oh, impact? Oh, yeah. yeah, I can see that. That's a thing. And this... I know you have to have a jungler because you're just losing farm if you don't have eat the jungle creeps. It's just... It's actually difficult in the sense of the gank at times. Yeah. Because there are openings, but then your teammate... The teammate can do a counter jungle really yeah. easy. Now, look at that. I like that combo in the sense. Nunu's out of nowhere, and then... Safe. Yeah, Nunu can go for a really, really aggressive gank and then completely just get out of jail free. If it wasn't for that, any other champion, Nunu was so caught out there, he probably yeah. could have died. Now, oof, ooh, Thresh missed that E. I was lucky. Oh. Okay, this, yeah, this good is good. Thresh is getting poked pretty hard. Mind you, farm wise, team uh, rig the brackets would actually be winning in gold. Would actually be winning in gold if it wasn't for that first blood. Yep. They would have. I mean, because they're just farming better. Mind you, I do not think. The, I don't know if Twitch should have just left lane right now, because now Zed's probably going to get six before he comes back. And he just gets murdered. I would honestly buy a clock. Uh, freaking the Zonia item. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The stopwatch. Stopwatch. I call it clock. I mean, it's a clock. I would get that now. <laughs> so just when he gets six, he does nothing. <laughs> That's what I do sometimes in regular, uh, uh, regular Z matchup. If I'm AP and I know, even if that's not the item I usually build, I'm just gonna get that one item. So when he ults the first time, he does nothing. Yeah. Because I mean, if he doesn't get ahead, he does nothing. It's a big impact. Oh. Oop. Nah, he's not getting there. How does Twitch's inv invisibility work now? As long as he doesn't attack, he stays invisible for the set amount of time. Even if yeah. he gets hit, because it looked like he got. See, no, I, if you get hit, he got you hit still there. Get, no, you still get. You're still invisible. Uh -huh. It's if he gets close to you, then you can see him. Oh, okay, okay. It's like the same thing with Shaco. Okay, you can okay. still get hit if you're invisible, but until you hit him, you know, until he actually autos and he reveals himself. There's only three champs right now with invis, and that's like the concept. It's Twitch. Oh wait, four. This is Timo. Twitch, Timo, Evelyn, and Shaco. And they really changed the whole concept of invisibility over the years. That's why you don't see it anymore. Uh, Name a champ after those four that actually have invisibility. Yeah, I mean, no, I, one. no. I, I, it's it's so hard to balance. No, that's the thing. That's another. That's one of the abilities you'll probably never see again, next to like silence. No one, no champs yeah. have silence anymore, other than. They've taken, they've taken it yeah. away from certain champs. The only ones that have silence in the game right now is Cho'Goth, Garen, I'm not sure what, and what DS is doing, what what the play here yeah. is. He's kind of just sitting in the back bush. And I think he should just try farming because there's no way he's ever... Oh, unless they oh. actually... Wow. Oh, my God. He missed his ult, though. That is so much damage gone. This is probably dead for the Zir. Yep. Oh, Jarvan should have just kept hitting the thrash. He basically went for the kill instead of helping his teammate. Oh, that oh, tower shot. That tower shot probably got him. It. That oh. tower oh, shot. That tower no. shot. Is he whiffed, though? But, but that was also just like... That even, was a bad play. Even, even though the whiff ult was like a big deal. It was I, huge. He, they probably would have killed... Oh, that was a good that flash. Was good. That was really good. He wins but, this. Nah. He's going to walk off. Yeah. Well, he probably could have won it. He could have won if he another was auto or two. He just had to like auto auto move towards him. Like, yeah. He knew that the the top uh, just couldn't get at him. Happen. So he should have he should have been attack moving the whole time. So that even after the flash, he was still in attack range. 
Had it Zir not miss, he ulted way too early. He tried to ult the Zed away so he couldn't get damage. But he, no. it takes a, a few seconds for the Zed to actually come back. Yeah. No, Azir, look at levels now, though. Level-wise, Team Rick Br Bracket is actually doing yeah, better. Yeah. I, I think the biggest problem with that engage, though, was that it was a good weight on the, the driver and ult. But the biggest problem is they were hitting two different targets. Yeah. Look, that's why Thresh lived. Yeah. Th that's why Thresh even killed his teammate. It, had they just been attacking the Thresh? They could have killed the Thresh free, and then the and then Cap 5 would have had to like, leave. He, oh, he yeah. couldn't have done anything. That's okay, really I like interesting that. for gangs. Yeah, I like that. That's always with Thresh, though. People don't realize that's, that's his whole deal with ganking. You can always get a decent gank. And then this thing, his lantern, I didn't know that could go right through that far. Ooh. Now, this is not bad. He's dead, though. He has, he, barrier, he, has barrier, he has barrier. Oh, you know what? He has barrier. I used to see the barrier. Eight. Oh, this is probably dead. Oh, he smited. Oh, he smited the live. Nice. Nah, that's play. good. But the fact that it didn't kill him is nah, it, really it, it good the for bear. the Twitch. No, yeah, yeah. Really good that they didn't kill him. I, I'm like willing to bet that they forgot he had Barrier. Oh my god. Was it Barrier? Oh, yeah, he did the Barrier. Oh. Uh, oh, they're trying to go all in on the Thresh, which I don't love. Ooh, I had that other Shuriken hit. They probably would have gone to Jarvan. Okay, Zed's big right now. He has the he has the first completed item on yeah. the map. And, and that is dust, huge. Dust Blade's a really good item on this map, too. Yes. You get all the interaction in the bushes. All the procs. Well, you don't get the the killing trinket part, but oh, this is probably a kill, though. Oh. oh that, that was a good trade. I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade. You get him off the map, so now uh, Twitch can farm. I mean, it's one Push for one. Start. And he also start. gets first. Nah, he's not oh, going to get it. the wave wasn't there, yeah. Noon is going to come back, too. Mind you, this map is small, but death timers are long. Yep. They are long. If you're off the map, think about it. Death is not just not just being on the map is like huge. It, yeah, you're not getting farm. That's the thing. The other person's free farming. Like getting a kill for a kill is cool and all, but then if it's not the right person that you killed, and the other target is actually getting more farm than you, yeah. you're gonna lose. Does Azir, Azir, Azir rush the Nashers Azir? or he just get the no, you can No, Azir, Azir still rushes Nashers too. They, oh. It procs with his own uh, autos. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it's And I believe his minion? No, his minions just do a set damage, I think. It's not just based on his actual. But no, it it's a very good item. He not is probably going to die here. Unless no die. one comes in to help him. No, Azir's probably still dead. That yep. proc's gonna kill him, yeah. Proc's gonna kill him. Mind you, though. Oh, oh Twitch is that dead. Twitch too. Is dead. Oof. They are just feeding right now. Yeah. And they're feeding the wrong person. Yeah. What we said, like I said before, if the Zed gets the far and kills, he's the damage. You don't care about. He has a CC with Thresh and the Nunu. Oh, Zed. Why, that was why, very why would you go in there? Nunu could just tank that all day, every day. Okay, let's see what happens. Nah, they have to go back. No, yeah, they have to go back, but that's big. That's 2k they're gonna now. They're going to take the relic. Advantage. Are they not going to take bottom relic? No, nah, they're coming back. They were low. Uh. I mean, Seth probably could have done it, because he's level 10. Remember how I said levels? Levels are important. That's just oh. items. He's two levels ahead of Azir. One level ahead of Twitch. Oh God, I'm surprising Twitch went up. Because Zed, if he just gets on top, he would die. Yeah, but he doesn't have ult. And you don't need ult. You can just... His pro his passive proc does ridiculous amount of damage. I mean, Twitch is one of the best late game jungle uh, AD carries. Yeah, because you he get just a free can, jump. Not just that, but just his ult just makes it so that everyone dies. Such a good ult. I compare the old Twitch. This new Twitch, new Twitch nowadays is really good. You do, I do miss his uh, 
old Twitch's invisibility. You can be invisible for like 30 seconds. Yeah. It was it was very oppressive. I was broken. <laughs> but like you said, balancing issues. Yeah. Oh, Vane can get invisible because they're old. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oof. Oh, he. Nah, this is probably a wipe. Oh, Twitch, why'd you show up? You should have waited to see where the vet Zed was. Now he's probably dead too. Yeah. So my that. Oh, oh. Now nah, they're too tanky. They're too tanky, and the Zed just does a lot of AOE damage. Jarvan doesn't get tanky anymore. You don't build him as tanky. You build him as damage. So. Oh, this might be That's a kill, a kill though. Yeah. Unless of course. Kill oh, Zed. kill. Nah, it's like Zed's yeah. good. But the t Thrash, that was free. That wasn't needed. Oof. Oh. Had he hit that last one, he would have eat in yeah. and then auto him. Yep. Because that Twitch doesn't have anything. Oh, but. Oh, what was that? Oh, no. that was an EQ, but no E came out. Oh, NA Flash, like, it's correct. He doesn't even have ult. Like I mean, he didn't need all. Just EQ would have been fine. EQ is enough. Like the slow on the Zed would have gotten the. the yeah, but to kill that's him. the thing. If Zed actually gets hit, Zed has his own escape still. Yeah. I mean, two autos, he's dead, bro. Like two autos plus the Jarvan auto. He's well, I think dead. you actually have to hit the thing. He still yeah. had escape. Oof, that I hurt. I feel for the Jarvan. Oh. Two and five. Eesh. I mean, was he? Oh. I would disconnect too if I was if I was him. <laughs> I think they're good now. Yeah. We're behind. But I guess Yeah. Tactical disconnect. He rage quit after his NA flash. <laughs> no, we're here guys. It's he's gonna just NA came flash back in. true combos into rage rage quit. Okay. Oh my god. You can see the disparity. Look at the thresh. He has the perfect item to not get destroyed. He doesn't even have boots, Thresh. He's basically saying, I'm going to be the tank. You can't kill me. I'm going to CC you all day. And that's the end of it. You're going to die by my teammates. Because look at this. He has the right item against Azir. Because Azir's damage is consistent. The same damage with, her, with his uh, minions. Mm. He has already armor building up. So... Jarvan, who just has one item, is not going to do anything. No. And Twitch. Yeah, look at this. That's a dead Twitch. That's basically what you do. That's not surprising. Nope, not at all. That's why usually AD carries aren't good in this format, because solo laners usually kill AD carries. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, wow. Turnaround. Got the best target. They're probably going to die here oh, for it. No. Oh, no. He could have. He could have lived yeah, out if he died. He was clean. He was clean out of there if he. If yeah, he had dodged. he backed up a bit sooner. No, I mean, even if he just dodged the hook, he was clean. He was slowed, I think, because of the alt. So he was moving a bit slower. But yeah, I mean, obviously not worth that they all died. But the yeah. Z kill was at least a consolation. Yeah. Now Azir has Nasher's tooth. That's big, at least in the sense. But he's no, 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 one item behind the Z. Yeah, and Nash's Thirst is definitely like a requirement for Azir to even start playing no, it the is. game. It is. Then after this, you kind of usually, usually people go uh, the book for reduced healing. I wouldn't even. Honest, just armor pen, honestly, magic if I was pen. Him, I would, I would go Hourglass. At this point, you would go Hourglass. I mean, Azir actually hasn't been the alt target. It's been the. Actually, I know, but it, but if he's looking to get his team back in the game, he yeah, he needs to quick, live. He'll very quickly become that target. Yeah, he needs to live. The book does n is not bad either because you get, I think, like 300 or 400 health. Yeah. That's decent. That's really good, actually. Oh, my God. Don't show up. Now, you see, the Twitch is showing up mainly because he saw that he doesn't have the shadow. But he's probably dead. No. Ah, that was scary. DS should have been body blocking for him just in case the hook came through anyway. Yeah. Zed's all actually does zero like almost no damage by itself you actually have to get an auto or two in or at least an ability you can actually live as that all if you can escape quick enough not to get hit by anything else 
Okay, now. Yep. Okay, Zier is... Wow, they actually do have to go back. Look at that. Yeah. Zier's just pushing free tower. I mean, that's good on... That's oh, oh, that would have been huge had he hit that. No, but this is this is great because this is even more wasted time. This is free but, farm. This yeah. is free gold. Azir's just pushing, and now it's just the game of stop the backs. Yeah, this you, is free gold. You, uh, you don't want to stop those backs. You don't win these back stops. No, nah, nah, they win this. Of course. Them. Wow. Nah, Thresh, I think, dies here. He should have ran. Should have just ran at that point. Eat, eat, now Azir, and ran. Azir kills this Nunu here. Wow. No, he doesn't. He has no, no mana. Oh. He's totally dead. As soon as this flash, oh, his flash didn't come. His flash is so close to being up. You know what? I actually would have just accepted death. Because even so? if he flashed, he wasn't escaping death. If you flashed the ult, he didn't have the damage. No, but think about it. If he flashed the ult, what do you do after that? You have no mana. You keep autoing. You have no mana. You don't auto the anything anymore. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. And then Nunu would just like probably go to a minion, eat it, and be yeah, full health again. Yeah. Nunu is very hard to kill. And right now he's big. Like, they're very behind. 15-5, five, 3k. I mean, mind you, the, the Azir did great. Three towers for free? Yeah, Azir. Uh, Azir Team Azir Fog should have backed up. Azir took the whole top lane. It was like a, not a great trade down bot, but it was a trade. It stopped all the backs. No, it was, it was actually a decent trade. Twitch should have escaped, though. I think he could have escaped because he gets the EQ yeah. back after you kill someone. Yeah. It refreshes, I believe. So he could have ran out. Oh, man. Zir did not build into his hourglass. Oh, man. That was actually not... He he almost did a decent play there. He didn't, like, get out of there. He didn't play it poorly. But he didn't get hourglass, so it's... Ooh. No, that was that was big Twitch mistake. Should have escaped. With his life, his don't teammate go, just don't let go him in. Don't don't go in. Let him die. Oh no! Now he's dead. There's no way. Even with flash, you're still dead. Still. No, not even. Still dead. Nunu's tanking. Nunu just tanks it. It took. It didn't even take a chunk of his health. Yeah, it took nothing. Oh, well, Oof. now they get the return fire on the top lane turret. And look at this. The death timers. The closest one is his ear. So now he has to freaking three v one. Do you think they get in him there? And then they just ignore the Azir and take in him? Yeah, they probably could. I think they could. I mean, I'm Zed's sure. very low, mind you, so maybe they respect the Azir's damage? Nah. Ooh. If he gets hooked, he dies. Oh, no, this isn't him. Oh. Escape with the box. Oh, this is actually might be a kill, though. Thrush gave yeah. his life for his teammates to live. No, that was good. But mind you, oh, oh will they I check the bush? That. They're not going to check. They're not going to check. Oh, no, they didn't check. Uh, I mean, that's hard check. I mean, you see some people, you figure they keep running. I mean, but I, I would have checked. checked. I would have checked it on the basis of only Nunu was there. So yeah. obviously Zed Versus went somewhere Zed. else. And I'm not going to catch the Nunu, so why am I still chasing? You're not going to outsmite Anunu for minions, so I don't know why he's fighting him. And Zed's still alive. It's probably a kill. Oh, he just used his ult too. Yep, this and is dead. And now Zed kills him. This is dead. Yep. Oh, Nunu might be dead though for it. Now, mind you, every kill for the other team, for Team uh, Bracket, uh, is his goal is benefit. Oh, that's close. He actually almost, he was cutting decently well. I would have backed up a bit because he had the Q. The, the problem the problem there that happened, he was, no, he, he was cutting well. The, the problem that happened there is that if DS had dodged the shuriken and caused him to require another hit to die, he would have oh, killed him. He would have killed, got, him. He got he the killed kill him. him. Mind you, but it's uh, hard to miss the shuriken at that yeah. range at that point. And you really have to, like, not ex. But you also just don't want to be in the same line as your Twitch. Like, no, yeah. you want to make him have to choose which one he's aiming at. Oh, no, of course. Again, a kill for them is like 600, 400, 600, 700 gold each. Yeah. But that's not going to help you when you're 5k down. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, uh, 4k down. Probably. Almost 5 now. Yeah, I don't know. I Azir is actually not bad when you want to get a tower and you need a tower back up. 
He I puts mean, towers. Azir's good. He just puts you too far behind in the early game. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's not good in early game, and you want early game. Or good early game to late game, mid game champs. What, what was the what was the the champion picks like? What order is it? What what order was it? Is it Zed we didn't pick get the first? C, but it's probably Zed pick first. Yeah, as, as soon as the Zed was picked first, I wouldn't have. Picked I wouldn't have picked Twitch. I wouldn't have picked Azir. I I wouldn't have picked in general. Ooh, I, this is probably the GG push. Yeah, yeah. E even the even the Jarvan was a questionable pick. Like, you have a Zed, you want hard CC. Yeah, I mean, yes. You have no one on their uh, and on uh, team Risky Biscuits. Wow. He just pushed him into the fountain. I think he flashed there actually. No, he got nah, pushed. Nah, he, he got ulted into the fountain. But Twitch might be dead here. Twitch is popped. Yep. Oh, he actually he wasn't popped without uh, Nunu. Oh, but look at that. Oh. See, passive was dead. That's it. Explode. Yeah. What was I saying? Uh, um, and that's it. Yeah, that's probably it. Nunu gives you a good amount of auto attack damage because of Bloodlust. It's just tanky. If you can't you kill him. You remember old annoying. school uh, Nunu, Nunu uh, Vayne bot? Yeah. That that Bloodlust is too strong. You know actually was better than Nunu Kogma. Nunu Kogma? Yeah, because Kogma just said... Yeah, Kogma just kills you from half no. the screen. All right, well, it's Team not fair. Fog wins. Yep, Team Fog is our champs. I don't know. I, I just... I question. I didn't like the matchup. I, I, really I question the picks after seeing a Zed still picking that team. Yeah, I mean Twitch was food, Azir's food, Jarvan's okay. You want to tell them the next league yeah. event is probably July sixth. All right. Yeah. So our probably next July 6th. our next league event is like probably going to be July sixth. Um, we'll definitely have it posted on our website encoregaming.us. If you just click on events, you'll see all of our events. Period. Probably. We, yeah. But it's probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be. Uh, Most likely. We haven't 100 picked the date yet. Yeah. They haven't 100 percent picked working the on. date, but it's gonna happen. But gonna all gonna I happen. know is this was awesome. People was had a much better time than playing one v ones. I didn't have a good time. That's last because two games. you won the one v ones and you can't play with teams. No, I actually did crush the first <laughs> game. The second game I didn't pick the right champ. I should have picked. And third game. Anthony used to go play his third place match. <laughs> is that actually happening? Yeah. yeah. All right. Ah, well, okay. Let's so get thanks, guys, for the finals. All right. uh, watch the third place match. We're no. Oh, okay. Nah, we're all never mind. First um, place. Have a good night and enjoy Anthony's the rest of your evening. And try to win a summer icon. All right. See you guys.